How you doing out there? This is my Bass Tracker uh, Pro 170 I bought last year. It's got a Mercury four-stroke 50 horse motor on it, and I've got a few, couple hints that might save you some money. Um, I was coming in for a weigh-in for a bass tournament and put it in neutral. When I idled down and it wouldn't idle down, it was revving up real high. I was like, what the heck? And I thought it was in the hand throttle, but we couldn't get it figured out, so we just shut it off and we ran the electric motor and got in. So brought it home and I called the dealer right away, and they couldn't get me in for like a week and a half, and it's like 60 miles away. So I said, let me take a peek at this thing, see if I can figure it out. So let me show you what I found. Pop this top off. Came over here and I was looking at looking at the wires, make sure everything is connected. I know this this one right here just popped off. Laying like this. Just like that. I'm like, what the heck is that supposed to be off like that? And I was like, no, I don't think it is. I put it back on. All it was was in the tournament to raise the motor all the way up. <laughs> raise it up too high. It pushed this cable. Pushed up in inside here. Pushed this cable up inside here and it knocked this hose off. It actually came off down here. And that's what did it. I popped that back on there and I put the water to it and I started it up and it started right up and it took care of the problem. So saved me a lot of money you have to drive all the way up there, especially with gas prices nowadays. And hopefully this will save you some money. Just a quick tip. And that's all I got. Good luck fishing. <laughs>